Hi, this is Steve O'Mooney, and you're listening to another production of the 4i Radio Network at 4iradio.com. Hey there, Eric here from Socially Awkward Studios, and this 4 Eyed Radio presentation is being proudly brought to you by Raven Designs, illustration and design that fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, visit ravencruise.com. Today on Ranger Command Power Hour. Forever alone, no one's here, I'm by myself in this chat room. Where's my peeps? I don't know. He needs to update his plugins. He needs to update his plugins. Zach needs to update his plugins, and he just texted me. Do do do, still alone, all alone, forever alone. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Where is everybody? I don't know. Star in the show. Bum, 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 bum. Star in the show. La 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 la. Star in the show. I don't know where the one is. Hello. Hello? Hello? Hey! You sound weird. Like your mic. Not not you, but your mic. Okay, there might be something wrong with it. Hold on. Hey, does it sound better? Whoa, that sounds like a thousand times better. Woo! And I'm currently I, drinking like a giant cup of coffee right now. I could so. get a giant thing of beer if I wanted to. <laughs> I don't know if we want to go down that route. How is that? This Clearly, be, that's the best idea. This can be the P the P um P W I podcast <laughs> podcasting while intoxicated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I told Zach this. They're Toys R Us exclusives. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I need it. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, no, I went to a giant Target store to like shop for normal people stuff. Oh. <laughs> Normal people stuff. What? Wow, we all have blue. It's like Yoshi powers activate. <laughs> Form and of he, abs. The Phantom Ranger. He is awesome, and there was never that key released in Japan. Yeah. And it's cool because also in that pack is Casey. Or no, not Casey. Uh, Cassie. <laughs> So, because so, they're, they're well, like a new head cannon. No, no, no. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of neat because because she's in love with him in the story. Phantom Ranger, your animal spirit is the something stealthy. I don't know what I, I, that joke fell apart instantly. It did. <laughs> Ranger keys. Uh. Just melt the plastic Ranger and inject keys. it into my veins. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I quick, think quick, you have a problem. Oh, oh, quick poll. Okay. Should I open my pink Dino Charge figure? Yes. Okay. Because her packaging's kind of, like, effed up, as was all of the Pink Ranger ones at that store for some reason. Someone's so. really hating on them. I've heard stories in the toy collector world, people will take one that is pristine and mint in packaging and, and then just up all the other packages so that nobody else can get a pristine package. Yeah, it was really people weird. Are like the worst. People, someone, people are assholes. Somehow there was two of them on the peg together, one in front of the other, and somehow the tape from the first one was stuck to the second one, so it was like taped together. <laughs> two of them were taped together. I was trying to get it off the thing. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't happen. Oh my god, how about that Chicago PD? Oh my gosh, I want to die right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I good. hated I hated that ending. I'm sorry, but I did. Wait, for the last one? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I hated I hated it. I hated it. With with Burgess? 
No, no, th- there, there's a newer one. Yeah, I, I know that, but like when she walked away from the position. Oh no, I was fine with that. I didn't like the oh. part where Li- Lindsay and. Um, oh. Oh yeah. You guys are like, I don't watch the show. You can talk spoiler re all your life. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm kind of avoiding them, like vague terms like the thing with that yeah, guy. You guys totally could just watch that. <laughs> the character died and it means nothing to me. So. Well, first, personally, I just don't like saying the words out loud because then it's almost like it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> For some reasons, oh. Uchi's is what? My dog's barking again. Finish her. Take care of the dog. Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> my, dog, my dog is an. <laughs> 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 oh. No, like she, but the dog really is <laughs> cool, though. <laughs> like I'm not joking, but for real. <laughs> so, um, about that meth head Andrews. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> listen to the Talking Toku show. I did, and I was dying. Like, <laughs> was, did you listen to the whole thing? Funny. Yes, I did. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, got, I got to say, the bit with Tom was damn hilarious, and I was like, oh, God, if AP listens to this, we're never doing a crossover again. My computer's an asshole. <laughs> Everything's an asshole. You were to have Flash installed, and I'm like, well... Maybe you should just download it. Yeah, I do, you asshole. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not talking to you. No, I'm talking to the computer. The computer keeps telling me I don't have Flash. Yeah, maybe you should download it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was just very badly timed. I'm so sorry. I'm keeping that in. <laughs> Okay, I just come back and everybody's laughing. What did I miss? Nothing. <laughs> You'll hear it in the show in the book. God damn it. Uh, oh, just nothing. AP calling me an asshole, <laughs> but not really. Well, she's not wrong. I mean, I'm what the f? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week when Zach gets replaced on the Range of Command Power Hour. With Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm going to go record on Talking Toku. Oh, and what was your plan, AP, for... What, what the f***? No, you... <laughs> no, your plan... You, you mentioned something after listening to the Talking Toku. You were like, oh, yes, I've got a plan. Oh, okay. um, I... Um, fun fact, totally forgot what that plan was. Um, <laughs> like ten minutes after I thought of it, I totally forgot what it was. Oh, <laughs> like one or two computers that have optical drives there. All the other ones like had no optical drives. And I'm like, I can't deal with that. I, I need not. I need I an need, optical drive. Yeah, I need one too. So you're saying all you need is drive? Oh, you need this child! Now I'm gonna have to find that music. <laughs>32, Ranger Command Power Hour Anniversary Special, recorded on January 17th, 2015. Welcome to the Ranger Command Power Hour on the 4 Eyed Radio Network. It's time to ranger up with your hosts. I'm Eric, also known as TrekkieB47. I'm AP, also known as Secret Ranger Fan. And I'm Zach, also known as The Cinema Slob. This episode is brought to you by Revenge Lover. Raven Designs is now Revenge Lover, where illustration and design fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, visit revengelover.com. Woo! Woo! It's our anniversary show! Yay! Yay! We've been doing this for a year now!
We have no lives. Woo! <laughs> Where is the fame and fortune I was promised, sir? I did not promise you any of that. So you are living under a false pretense. When is my residual check coming? <laughs> Maybe when we get an Indiegogo going. <laughs> so, yeah, when this episode airs, it will have been exactly one year since we released our first episode. Here we are, 32 episodes later, with a lot of followers on Twitter and not so not, many on Facebook. And not a failure. Yes, not. <laughs> yeah. we are not a failure. <laughs> Really happy with everything, and we did a lot of thank yous our last show. But this is going to be more of a reflective favorite moments that our listeners have picked out. There was a lot of news I actually broke today as we record, so we're going to get into that. First, Power Rangers Dino Charge now has a premiere date, which is February 7th at noon Eastern on Nickelodeon. And the first episode title is Powers from the Past. And that's via at KYL416 on Twitter. Also on Ranger Board, he's provided the episode names for different series for many years on Ranger Board. This is pretty reliable. At least it's not Day of the Charge or something. <laughs> I would not be okay with that. I thought that would be a nice nod, like, Day of the Dumpster. That's Day trying too. That's had, trying too hard. Yeah, I mean, we had the homage with Dino Thunder's Day of the Dino. I like Powers from the Past. The only way that they could combine both of those into an homage would be to be like Dino of the Dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> or Dumpster of the Dino, which is more horrible. That sounds terrible. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. A lot of people were thinking that this would actually be on Valentine's Day because of the Nick Hotel event that's taking place that weekend, which it would have been cool if it was on Valentine's Day because you've got Toy Fair that starts that day, you've got Nin Ninja starts that day, and if Dino Charge would have been on that day, it would have been a trifecta. Would been, that would have been an overload, yeah. Yeah, it would have been a trifecta of nerds not going to their girlfriends. So... <laughs> Let's be honest, how many nerds out there actually... Nah, well, <coughs> present company excluded. <laughs> no, we're, we're not insulting anyone, no. <laughs> no, no. But, um, I think I, it's cool. It's it's only three weeks away, but if you're listening to this episode, currently this Saturday, it's only two weeks away, which oh. is pretty awesome. Yeah, and I get um, the entire month of February off, so... I you guys want to do some... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys want to do some episode commentaries when it comes out? Well, yeah, of course. Once it comes out, we'll we'll have episodes based on... I think we were all pretty burnt out of Super Mega Force last year. That's why we didn't really really talk about it. And new keys have been released. They are Toys R Us exclusives. These were the keys that have been rumored for a few months now that were supposed to come out last fall. But they're finally hitting the store shelves. We've got Lost Galaxy, Zeo, RPM, SPD, Mystic Force. Turbo, Turbo, Ninja Storm. Ninja Storm. Yeah, so these are the uh, B packs uh, that mostly have the Sixth Rangers and some other teams. I know Ninja Storm completes the team. Zeo does as well, completes the team. I need the Alien Ranger key pack to complete the team. I need the Zeo key pack to complete the teams. Those are the two I want the most. I just want to give a a shout-out real quick to Deno underscore Toku Nation, uh, Jordan, from the Talking Toku podcast. He actually got me 90% of those keys (laughs) in Kentucky. But... They're starting to appear more in the Midwest and Southeast for right now, according to Razzle. But hopefully over the next couple months, they'll be out completely, and then we'll get the other keys that were rumored to come out. I think they're pretty cool. They look amazing. And then we have Matt Jason, who is the star of the short The Ranger. He tweeted out yesterday that The Ranger Returns, Shooting in three weeks, hashtag the Ranger, hashtag Power Rangers, hashtag it's Morphin time. I'm pretty excited for this. Zach and I got to meet Matt at Power Morphicon, and he's a cool dude. I like the first short, so it'll be interesting to see what part two gives us. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the sequel's going to be like. It's going to be interesting. 
I'm super excited for it. I really like the first one. I'm excited to see what comes after that. Yeah, and Matt's a great guy. He's an actor working in Hollywood and also on his Twitter at Matt J underscore Sun. And you can also find some of his work reels that he posted right before announcing the Ranger second short. Check him out. All right, breaking news. Toku Nation has broken that the Shout Factory Zoo Ranger DVDs have been released early. Uh, in what appears to be a complete accident, at least one copy of the Shout Factory Zoo Ranger DVD set has made its way to a happy owner ahead of the February 17th release. What? Twitter user, yeah, Twitter user Tucson PR Zealot, he is also a listener to the show has just let the world know that he's received Kiru Sentai Zhu Ranger set early, and he's been kind enough to share in-hand images of this packaging, along with screen caps of the menus and a tease of the subtitles. Holy crap. Yeah, wow. holy cow. A whole looking, month early. I'm um, looking at the, yeah, I'm looking at the images now. The bonus feature is Power Progenitors, Super Sentai Zoo Ranger, the Power Morphicon 2014 panel. Wow. The back of the box says, See where the worldwide phenomenon began with the original Japanese series that inspired the Power Rangers franchise. When a sinister witch, Bandora, is released from her prison after 170 million years, five warriors from an ancient time arise from their suspended animation to once again defend Earth from Bandora and her evil horde. Armed with the enchanted weapons and giant robotic deities known as the Guardian Beasts, it's up to these warriors to defeat Bandora and her monsters before she can exact revenge upon the Earth. That's awesome. Oh, whoa, the inside is really cool. Yeah, it shows the the episode titles on each disc. Uh, (laughs) I like that episode 30 is uh, Satan Comes. Yeah. That's... (laughs) Phrasing. Oh, well, uh, no. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> um, the knuckleball of infatuation? What the... I, Japanese have some crazy episode titles for Sentai. I like the hate-filled brother's sword. <laughs> that was awesome. I like Hope Springs a Turtle. <laughs> Hope Springs a Turtle, huh? Uh, want want The park where demons dwell. Oh, and it looks like, it looks like the subs are pretty decent yeah this is so cool this is awesome oh and it's cool on the DVDs you can turn the English subtitles off if you so wish yeah if you're crazy and you already know Japanese (laughs) yeah but, but that's cool and I'm really glad that they didn't do like a dub or anything cause that's crap (laughs) <laughs> he says the quality is fantastic he said the episode previews are also included oh that's fun and they also included the Zoo Ranger premiere promo which airs before the series even happens Ooh. I'm not even like interested in Zoo Ranger and I'm still like super into this news <laughs> I, I need to get this set I really do that's that's amazing that he got this like holy crap you will be in a desert far from any body of water yes Alright, we want to take some time and let everyone know about a very important cause that's going on right now in Ranger Nation. So, Raja, who played Delphine in the Alien Rangers series, she was the leader of the Alien Rangers. She's actually been diagnosed with a scenic cell carcinoma, which is a form of salivary gland cancer. 
and she has undergone one surgery already. They're actually raising funds. They're raising $5,000 because they're using diet and holistic remedies because she is allergic to and sensitive to certain chemicals in her body, which means that no chemotherapy is being done for her case. So you can find the link on our website in the show page, but you can also go to gofundme.com slash I-Y-L-B-Z-G, or you can search for Raja's Medical Fund. And as of the time of this recording, 69 people have donated, and they have donated a total of $1,627 out of 5000 so far. I donated a couple nights ago uh, when this released, so I just urge everyone to donate. Unfortunately, I did not get to meet her at Palomorphicon, but I saw her in passing. But every interview I've seen that she's done or any interaction with fans that I've heard about She's a gentle soul. She's a very caring person. Just an absolute delight for the fandom. And uh, I hope everyone comes together to help rally for this cause because cancer sucks. Yeah, and even if you can't donate, at least sharing it with more people, posting it on your Facebook or your Twitter or something, just spreading the word helps too. Yeah, you you can go to the GoFundMe page And they have the share button right there for Facebook and Twitter. It says on the site they have 1.3K total shares right now. So that kind of works out to a dollar per share, at least so far, or a little more than that. So definitely, guys, uh, spread the word. Donate if you can, even as little as a dollar, five dollars. Don't go out to lunch one day. Help Raja with this cause. I think that's something all of us can at least contribute or share in our own way. It's muffin time! Rage the back without me, full power! <laughs> Alien Rangers! Power of water brought from the sky! The powers of life! Powers unite! <laughs> Hello, Ranger Command Power Hour! DJ Monkey Ranger here to congratulate you on an entire year of being on the air. Continue to strive to a year and beyond of boundless creativity and unique views. You are a credit to our fandom. Keep it live with that funky, fresh henshin beat. And as always, it's Morphin Time! Next, we recently signed up for Ask FM because it seems everyone and their mother is doing it. <laughs> it was kind of short notice for our anniversary episode, but we tweeted it out there. People could ask us questions, and as hosts, we will answer them because we do our Ranger Nation answers. So I'm just calling this questions from Ranger Nation. Here we go. So an anonymous person on Ask FM said, To each host, what's been your favorite episode to record so far? I guess I'll go first. The one I liked recording the most... Mm, wow, that's a tough one. Right? There's so <laughs> many that we have. <laughs> There's so much pressure now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually... I think my favorite one to record was the one with Kerrigan Mayhem, the second one, our post-Paramorphicon detox. He was just so hilarious. It was our second interview with him, and it was just a fantastic talk. He was great. I love that it was uncensored. Uh, People got uncensored Kerrigan, which is always great. Mm-hmm. And his intro bit in the first part, where as soon as he popped up, he's like, oh my god! It was hilarious. I was cracking up. I think that was my favorite one to record. Definitely one of the top three. Oh my god! Hi. There he is! Hi, 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 Melanie! It's Eric! <laughs> Eric called from Ranger! Honey! Get down! Hello. We meet again. 
<laughs> yep, yep, we we do meet again. <laughs> uh, I'm very busy. Uh, certain parties are going to have to be killed. <laughs> oh, this, this mess they called Morphicon. No, we're not going there. We're not going there. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've got three personally that i just oh, thought cool. of so either the first crossover that we had with talking toku oh yeah well clearly this is why russia invaded ukraine so. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or the drunk cast that was pretty great <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's your funeral, lady. They could have just stayed in their Megazord and, like, stomped on her and ended all of this. <laughs> That's always... Wh- but, why but, have they never done that? But ever? wait, we'll, we'll miss all the new Powers footage that they filmed. Oh. Uh, uh, original new Powers footage that they filmed. Uh, instead of anything else. Instead of, you know, Lightspeed Rassie. <laughs> Uh. Or, like, technically, we didn't record it together, but just the finished product of the Lightspeed Rescue one. Yes. It just, it came together so great. I enjoyed listening to that. Oh, yeah, me too. Yellow and blue, out for the count. <laughs> Wait till I tell Viper. Hey, Pete, what are you doing? They're out cold. Come on. Let's steal their jackets. The replica ones at that street vendor were obviously knockoffs, and I can't afford one from a real gift shop. I'm not going to argue with that. Hmm. Chan's jacket actually fits me. Kelsey's fits too. Hey, AP, are you thinking what I'm thinking? No. The morphers? Come on, let's take them and morph. This is a -a once-in-a-lifetime chance. I've got a better idea. But first, we have to sneak into the aqua base. Those are all really good. I think, <laughs> oh gosh, I think for me it would have to be, uh, yeah, it's got to be the drunk cast. I'm sorry, any excuse where I get to drink and make fun of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good time. You're just like, hey guys, I had to bend down to pick up something. Yeah, I had to tie know. my shoe. <laughs> Here's the most epic music. Bah, 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 bah. And Tommy's penis. <laughs> <laughs> you <ain't> just a <laughs> And there's Damon. And Corona. And TJ2. And there's Titanium Ranger. <laughs> And Tommy. Yeah, oh, where did the Samurai Rangers come from? YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're behind them, too. Yeah, somehow they snuck up around the back. I dreamt about this. And then Gia's knowing smile, like, yep. You sure did. That was pillow talk. Yeah, you talk initially. Oh, God, Noah's dumb laugh over Tommy. Yeah. I think we had some pretty good early episodes, too. I really liked our... Even though we didn't record it together, we recorded it separately, but our two Ranger favorite episodes. Oh, I liked that one, too. Yeah, it was yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah, that was and, fun. And also our headcanon one. Head- I know that one wasn't too popular with the audience, but I enjoyed recording it. Yeah, I did, too. And I wouldn't say it wasn't too popular, but... At the time, the first week out numbers weren't the best, (laughs) but it by far wasn't our lowest uh, episode. But yeah, I think we hit like a 30% drop from the previous episode. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, for some reason I'm laughing, but... (laughs) (laughs) But it's a good episode. I did like our speculation on that one. Any excuse where I get to see that like really terrible Photoshop I did of giant Justin... (laughs) To all of the Mega Force Rangers. I included it in our last episode, Header. I saw that. Yeah, so that, <laughs> that was just for you. So. Thank you. <laughs> 
All right, so we've got another anonymous person on Ask FM. They asked, do you think American audiences would want dance morphs in Dino Charge like in Kill Ruger? No. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Well, here's the thing. Because when you say American audiences, it's like, well, you've got the kids who don't know what Kiruja is. You've got Sentai purists who are like, Mrr. and then you've got Power Rangers fans who may not watch Sentai at all. So they wouldn't even know about it. Personally, I don't want a dance. Kiruja was very lighthearted, and they incorporated a lot of music and dancing into their show. And I think this will be one of the first notable changes that we see, that there won't be a dance morph for Power Rangers. Just, like, personally taking that apart from Kiruja, like, completely, dance morph just sounds, like, real dumb to me. (laughs) So, (laughs) completely separate from Sentai, just, like, that entire idea sounds real dumb to me. So I'm obviously going to say, hell no. Hell to the no. Zach, what do you think? Uh, I mean, you're the you're the Sentai purist here. I I am. I'm sorry. I love the lightheartedness of Kiryuger. I love the dance morph and everything. However, having said that, I don't think that it would be good to include it in Dino Charge if they're trying to break away from the mold of the last couple of years. More so, I guess, in Samurai and Super Samurai, where it was a mm-hmm. direct copy and paste of the Sentai. Just from the promos we've seen, it seems like it's going to be a more... I don't want to say serious season, because there's always that lightheartedness in Power Rangers. But from the previews that we've seen, it seems like it has that Judd Lin stamp. And and here's Like that Time Force stamp. Yeah, and Judd Lin does really good work turning series into something a bit more serious, or something that has a bit more of an edge to it. Take a look at RPM. RPM, Go Onger was goofy. Go on your was oh, it was silly ridiculous. and light, yeah. and we got the Power Rangers set in the Terminator universe where it's like, oh, machines took over, killed all the humans. That well, like, Judlin wasn't responsible for that. That was Eddie Gazalian, uh, and when and when Eddie got let go halfway through the season, that's when they brought Judlin in. Well, and, and Judd continued it. I mean, he saw right. merit in it. He didn't, you know, about face on the series or anything like that. Right, because I've seen some complaints from people where they don't like the second half of RPM because they wanted what Eddie started. But as a whole, I I liked RPM, and yeah, there was that serious tone, and that's the most recent example we have of Judlin's work. And we've even had Yoshi say that he created something that they included into the morph. So whether or not that's maybe a dance move or maybe a spin... Who knows, but they've been very sealed lips about if it's the dance or not. Yeah, we're not going to see anything until that episode premieres, I think. So, yeah. Look forward to in out. two weeks on Nickelodeon. <laughs> yep. Ho- hopefully the morph is one of the first preview clips that they give us before the episode premieres. I always get excited when a new Power Rangers series happens because... I love the morphs. Like, I love the morphing sequence. Yeah. And I hope they don't get lazy with it. I hope it's on a backflip. I just I want something new. Now, on Ask FM, we have Charlie, Orange Ranger 198 who, by the way, was a winner in our contest. He got the Dino Charged Up pack, but we'll talk about all the winners in a little bit. He asked, what is your favorite headcanon that you didn't come up with? Oh, wow. And now... Is our thinking time. <laughs> yeah, gosh, this is oh, wow. 30 minutes that we're going to have to edit out of the podcast. We covered a lot of headcanons in our headcanon episode, We too. do, and I can't remember a single one of them that wasn't the one that I thought of. God. This is a head-scratcher. Maybe we'll have to get back to him. Yeah, I'm going to have to go listen to that episode and come back with an answer next week, because I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> Charlie, we are going to table that discussion for the next one. <laughs> That I guess he gave us some homework. Yeah, this is the first question we've ever had Damn. to like postpone because we didn't have our answer ready. Our listeners like really want us to use our brains this week. I I don't. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to use it either. But that's the thing. It's like that we didn't come up with. Well, if we didn't come up with it, it 
Oh, wait, maybe he's talking about what what was our favorite headcanon from the listeners. Yeah, that's exactly what he's talking about, but I can't or, I remember think he just, it wasn't mine. <laughs> I think he just means, like, headcanon in general. Oh, That okay. we didn't make up. Oh, well, that makes it a little bit easier. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, I the only one I remember is the one I came up with. I can't remember any of the others. You don't start or, or you mean like from that episode, do you? Or, yes, I, I actually do. <laughs> we, I should save, pull, I, we should pull those up. I save everything. <laughs> Our headcanon episode was number thirteen. That's, that's like half a year ago. It is. Yeah, my brain oh, doesn't no. go that far back. All right, let's see. Episode thirteen. <laughs> Let me dust the cobwebs off these notes. <laughs> Blow the dust off. So yeah, I think it means like. Oh yeah, yeah. So the, there was us. the there was the one from there was the one from George that um, the movie exists in the same alternate timeline as RPM. That is a good one. Because we see the red Operation Overdrive Battleizer helmet in the ruins. Alphabet soup. Blah blah blah. Scott Sandler and Digi Ranger nineteen ninety four said. Spike was left at the police station during MMPR Season 3. Skull took him in, raising him with his parents until Lost Galaxy when he overslept and took care of Spike independently throughout 2008 when his piano playing was noticed by a talent scout. Skull, about to bark on world tour, leaves Spike in Bolt's care, but then Bolt Myers goes under, so they move to Power Ranger Samurai Land. I actually really like that one. I like that one so much. Because that go. explains the age discrepancy, and without saying that Skull was a very young father. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Change Dragon said, after his trip to the future me SPD, Katana gathers around the surrounding families and created the Samurai Rangers, which is a really cool one, too. That's a good, yeah, that's yeah. neat. DM Elms sent us this like whole freaking paragraph. <laughs> but uh, out of those, I think my favorite is explaining Spike's age in Samurai. I, I think i got to go with George's. I like the idea of the movie being the same alternate universe as the one from RPM. Okay. All right. Mm. What about you, AP? Give me two whole seconds. There's a Tumblr called Power Ranger Head Cannons. Oh, dear. Oh, and... God. Well, this ought to be good for a read. <laughs> I'm going to read that. <laughs> I'm going to read that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Mm. My favorite headcanon that I did not come up with. TJ yeah. now has an irrational fear of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and he cannot look at it or smell it or anything without having PTSD flashbacks. That's pretty great. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> At least we got that out of the way. And then finally, this is not a hard question. Sean at Snarky Sean said, which color did Bridge wear better? And favorite quote, since we all love SPD. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it. Bridge was best as green. I, I know he got promoted and good for him, but Bridge will always be green to me. I agree 100%. I think Bridge is the Green Ranger from that season. Like, that's how I identify him always. Yeah, because we saw him in blue for, like, two seconds in the finale. Mm -hmm. And he was still the same old self in Once a Ranger, but he was just red. Yeah. And he didn't look good in red, in my opinion. I mean, it was cool that, oh, yeah, go Bridge, you're leading the B squad. But it's green for me. I'm, I want to get, like, real controversial with y'all, and I'm going to say that he's best as Red. Just picturing my own backstory for him oh. as Red Ranger in the SPD-verse. You mean your own headcanon? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could say that. I'm trying to picture him as, like, Red Ranger within the SPD organization. Uh -huh. Like, how did, he, how did he react to getting promoted? Like, what did he do? How is he with all of his underling rangers? What kind of leader is he, pretty much? The doors that that opens up makes me like him best as that. Because there's so many possibilities for the character. Yeah, and plus it's neat how he did get promoted. Mm -hmm. Gets that kind of ranger organization where you can get promoted, and it's just kind of neat that that happened for him. Yeah, yeah. So. That he got that opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then um, any favorite bridge quotes? Bridge quotes. Hmm. Of course, it's buttery. 
It's got to be buttery. I, I mean, I, okay, I showed that episode to my sister, who is by no means a fan of Power Rangers, and she laughed, and it's still an in-joke between us. <laughs> wow. So buttery transcends the barriers of just a Power Rangers thing to being just a funny thing. Yeah. I'd have to say whenever he, like, rambles and then, like, second <laughs> guesses himself and then tries to make sense of his own thought. Yeah, my like, favorite one of that is you can't fool people some of the time and you can't fool people all the time, but you can't fool me. It was like one of those yeah. where he, just, he confuses himself. Yes, yeah. I love whenever he does that. So yeah, those are pretty good ones. Well, thank you, people of Ranger Nation and all of our listeners. If you want to ask us a question, you can head on over to ask.fm slash rangercommandph. So it's like our Twitter handle. And this is not a question. We actually got a comment on our website. We actually have a contact us form. And this is from Jeff M. from the South. And his comment was, just found your podcast this week. I must say I love the show. Keep up the great work, guys and gals. And wow, that's that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So a big thanks to Jeff. And I think we're one of those podcasts where anyone can jump in at any time and it'll still be pretty accessible. But all of our past episodes are in our episode archive on our site at rangercommand.com and also on the Four Eyed Radio Network at foureyedradio.com. So don't be afraid to listen to this podcast, but you're doing it now, so why am I saying this? <laughs> <laughs> But you can also leave a comment on our website. There is a Contact Us tab. And if you have a show idea or if you have a question for us or a comment, whatever, I think we're pretty good at taking criticism as well. So, yes. um, so yeah, if you have an idea for the show, just let us know. Give us a shout-out. Oh, and I want to add an addendum to our thank yous uh, last week. I know there was a big show and there were some people that my mind blanked. I do want to thank Mr. Yellow for being one of our first, or being the first uh, guest co-host on the show. So big shout-out to Mr. Yellow. And another shout out to the ladies at the Toku Ladies podcast, especially uh, the second Batgirl who was on our show quite a few times, and also Pocky Squirrel. They're really awesome people, and their podcast is pretty neat, so you should check them out. Also a big thanks to Database Ranger, who helped sing some of our parody songs. <laughs> And for Scott Sandler, uh, DigiRanger1994, for writing the lyrics to those songs. I think those were a pretty big hit early on. And I'm probably going to add a, a little segment where, where I do a mix or something of them right here. Oh, remix. R a remix. R a remix. Dumpstep. Dumpstep <laughs> <laughs> remix. Swag force. <laughs> no, oh, shit, no. No, not again. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger command. How <laughs> Ranger Swag Force. Go Ranger come and go power out. Let's, Let's go. go. The call is on. Their cause is getting strong. They'll have to brave the tech worlds. Ranger come and stand together. The show will grow. grow. Thoughts will grow. flow as the podcasters do. No. Ranger come and power our growing is growing is growing. Who's stretching those rocks? Yo, it's the Swag Force. Oh, the Swag Force. I've heard of you. Yo, it's time to drop the slow jam. While taking care of it, odds are you will watch Lightspeed tomorrow. Secret Ranger fan. Secret Ranger. Looks like you're fresh out of swag. Ranger Command Power Hour. It's a Power Rangers podcast.
Go, 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 go. Range of pub and power hour. Their discussions entertain you. Go, 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 go. Eric, Zach, and he having a good time to discuss the Rangerverse. No matter where you are, whether near or far, you can always catch us on iTunes, on YouTube, on even on, even on SoundCloud. Go, 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 go. Ranger, come and go. Go, go, Ranger Command! Go, go, Ranger Command! Podcasters together! Talking Toku crossover! Go, go, Ranger Command! Hi, I'm Kickback, a.k.a. Chris. I'm Jordan, a.k.a. Dino. And I'm Tom, a.k.a. Sintetimachi. And we are the hosts of the Talkin' Toku podcast, and also the three guys behind tokunation.com. We wanted to take a quick moment and congratulate our friends at the Ranger Command Power Hour for their year anniversary. You guys have made it 365 days, and on top of that... You've made it 365 days doing episodes once every two weeks. Hmm. God, I wish I didn't have a life so I could do that too. Yeah, but why, why would they do that to themselves? That's like it's pure power. torture. I, don't, I, I like to talk to you guys, but not that much. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's Power Rangers. I mean, it's not even on for three quarters of the year anyways. And right? when it is on, it's like, huh? Don't they take hiatus or something? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what they'll do next year. Maybe Eric will take a six-month hiatus along with Power Rangers <laughs> to kind of make it work. Ranger um, Command detox. They will have a they will have a, a, a drunk podcast along with the hiatus. So it'll be like a six month of drunk <laughs> cast. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Oh, I, I want to say I, I have enjoyed getting to know, for the most part, all of them. Uh, I haven't yet, of course. Nobody has seen AP. In real life. I, I don't think AP exists. I think I'm AP. No one's seen her, and they never will. It's just Th- like... Tom is secretly AP. I'm secretly you, AP. I'm do you have, you. like, memory loss throughout... Do you have memory loss every other Saturday? It's like, we got to get his balls, right? What? what? <laughs> Come on, it's a Fight Club reference. You guys know this. Yeah, I'm sure everybody remembers that's a Fight Club reference. Yeah. <sighs> See? that's There's my grown-up indifference. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jordan, didn't you have uh, something you wanted to thank them for as well? I'd really like to thank the, the wonderful people at Ranger Command Power Hour for apparently making us 4chan famous and therefore hated by the anonymous internet community. So oh, thank you for that. that. Seriously, thanks a lot for that. Mostly thank you for the comments that I've read where people make fun of Zach for having the blonde hair um, and, you know, being a woman. But also uh, because it's 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 pretty enjoyable. I mean, made fun of by people who are probably twelve. So I'm good with that. <laughs> so, but we wanted to conclude our little message to you guys with a very special talk and Toku apologizes segment because we think we should apologize for a couple things over the last year and change. Um, so I'll start off. I just want to say to Eric and Zach and AP, I would like uh, from to- talking Toku to apologize uh, for all the listeners that you've lost every time we've been on your show. So <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's our fault. My bad. It's, we it's mostly my blame fault, it on actually, Tom. probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely it's just me. We had a list at one point. I, I apologize for uh, secretly... I, I apologize for secretly retweeting all of your Twitter prize pack contest things, hoping that I would win. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's funny. And, and Eric w- was sent out a tweet. It's like, oh, thanks, Jordan, for promoting it. It's like, no, I'm trying to win you, ass. I know, he, was like, <laughs> he sent one to me in, in Nightmare 10, and he was like, thanks, guys, for promoting our contest. And I was like, yeah, pick me to win one. <laughs> Which is funny, because I'm, I'm giving away a Ranger Key right now, or it ends tonight, actually. So if you're listening to this on Saturday, sorry, but check out Toku Nation's Instagram, because there's one there, too. Like, like, all of them, except for Zach, were tweeting, and they're like, yeah, you know, I'm just uh, getting the word out, and Zach's like, no, I, I actually want to win. <laughs> I actually want this key set, so... If I one. retweet for a contest, I always want to win. Uh, let's see, we'd also like to apologize for that really horrible intro that I made uh, for you. Maybe I'll uh, splice a clip in real quick, like right here. 
Coco Ranger Connect. And then never, ever have that happen again. So please delete that. And I'd like to apologize to your listeners uh, for having to listen to me sing a rendition of the Power Rangers Samurai theme song. So I, I apologize I for I that. Th- I don't think you should apologize for that. It's I think it good. counts as like a war crime, actually. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, and we should also probably apologize to AP. Oh yeah, God yeah. I, I I have said so many things that are so just plainly offensive, whether I meant it or not. I mean, I I never meant it, but whether it came out like... <laughs> now, you never meant it, right? <laughs> it's it's one of those things where it's like every time we record with Ranger Command Power Hour, like if we record with Eric or when I'd be on there when AP couldn't be on the show, mm-hmm. I would stop myself and be like, Oh God, did I just say something that's gonna make AP hate me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so. AP, we're sorry for that, but here you go. Now you realize just how much power you have over people you've never met. She, she's the uh, the moral fiber of that of that podcast, I guess. Yeah. No? I don't know about disagree. that. Agree? Agree? Disagree? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Who's the moral fiber around here? There is no moral fiber around here. Yeah. yeah I think we, we lost that long time we're, ago. we're all going to hell. It's just a race to see who gets there first. I need some so, fiber. But anyways, uh, guys, Ranger Command, Zach, Eric, AP, congratulations for a year. You guys are, are doing awesome. It's always fun to host with you or have you guys hosting on our side. Shide. Shide. I'm, I'm yeah. drunk casting right are now. A, are you a hobbit? Eric, I just want to say, man, I think I think you you're the, swell. You're awesome. You're like the best. I'm. Oh, Eric, uh, here's one last talk. Let's restart the music right now. Eric. <laughs> it's going to be really hard for me to say this without laughing. Are you proposing? I want to apologize for repeatedly punching you in the groin at Power Morphicon this last year. <laughs> I was a little intoxicated. Can you, can I you did please, not at this point of the podcast, just splice in making a man out of you, out of that Disney movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Anyways, congratulations again, guys, and I am sure we will talk with you with some Toku and maybe Power Rangers. I guess Power Rangers. Soon. So, congratulations, and here's to another year, and seeing you guys all, all three of you, with all three of us, at the next Power Morphicon. Oh my god, the world will implode. <laughs> the police will be standing by. You are not this ready for it. <laughs> the world's not ready. We will break the internet. We'll break Pasadena, and trust me, it's not that hard. <laughs> Pasadena is easy. I can break it. Alright, I'm stopping this now. This being our anniversary show, we've had a lot of great moments on the show, and we've also had a few shout-outs from some of our listeners. We want to highlight those right now. First, we have a great thank you and shout-out from Darren at Dr. Sci-Fi. He has a couple of podcasts, and you can check those out at drsci-fi.com. So let's give that a listen. Hey Eric, Zach, and AP, this is Darren, also known as Dr. Sci-Fi. Congratulations on your podcast anniversary. I've enjoyed every episode of the Power Hour, the Power Ranger show rants, JDF Watch, Groans of Indifference, and I can't forget the scripted adventure stories. But at its heart, your show is about friends sharing a common passion, and that is the best there is in podcasting. It was great to meet Zach and Eric at Power Morphicon 4 and be a part of Morphicon Detox Month, episode 21, and the After Dark recording for PMC, episode 19. Here's to another year and more boss battles. May the power protect you. Thank you so much, Darren. Glad that you're a listener, and it was awesome to meet you at Power Morphicon, especially after being friends with you online for a couple years. So it's really cool. Next, we have RJ, RJ Sills Uchihabro, or Anime Redneck 96 on Twitter. And let's listen to his right now. Hey y'all, Uchi here. Just wanted to say congrats on one year. Eric, Zach, AP, it's been great to hear y'all's thoughts every other week on everything in Ranger Nation. From JDF Watch to highlighting other fans and giving your opinions on various news. I'm honored to have been a part for even one episode. But that wasn't really my favorite part. My favorite part has been every laugh, disagreement, and hell yeah moment y'all have given me listening. Here's to another year, more fun, and a hell of a lot more Ranger Command Power Hour. Yeah! 
I really liked his uh, yee-haw at the yeah, end. Yeah, a bit at the end. <laughs> yee-haw! He really puts the country into it, don't he? Yeah, that's, that's classic RJ, and... I'll get to meet him at LexCon in March. We are going to plan on having a LexCon episode at the end of March. So stay tuned for that. There's going to be a ton of rangers there. And half of the Zoo Ranger cast, which is unfreaking believable Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Stay tuned for more details on our exploits at that. (laughs) And then finally, Mir at Nightmare 10. Also a guest co-host and creator of the Power Scoop. This is Nightmare 10 of the Power Scoop, and I want to congratulate Ranger Command Power Hour for the one year of the podcast. Eric, Zach, and AP, keep up the great work, and I can't wait to hear more episodes. It's always great hearing from Mir, so we definitely want to thank her for that shout-out. Thank you so much. We've had some pretty cool moments on Ranger Command. Now we have some comments. People commented and tweeted at us what their favorite moments are. So we're going to dive a little bit into that. Our first one is from Scott Sandler, and he said, My favorite moments have been getting to write and hear the Power Ranger theme parodies, the Kerrigan Mayhan interviews, the Ranger Command After Dark session, and the Headcanons episode. Hey, someone liked the Headcanon episode. (laughs) Yeah. What's your headcanon, A2? <laughs> okay, so my first headcanon is Kelsey and the astronaut totally hooked up after that episode ended. <laughs> I think it's pretty darn obvious. Yeah. 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 It, it was ridiculously obvious. I mean, however intentional it was, it became... You can't ignore that. No, you really can't. Was the astronaut ever mentioned again? No. Unfortunate. Sorry, sorry to hear that things didn't work out between them. Or they did. She was keeping that relationship on the, on the on DL. The yeah, right. <laughs> Kelsey, <laughs> where are you going? Um, to the laundromat. <laughs> Kelsey, all of our clothing is provided by Lightspeed Rescue. See you later, guys. <laughs> and she just skates off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, AP? I totally accept that headcanon. Yep. I think most of the fandom accepts Sounds that headcanon. <laughs> okay. Headcanon accepted. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, my second headcanon is that Ryan, he never really had a profession like the rest of the Lightspeed Rescue Rangers. Uh huh. And I think he became a cop after the series ended. I don't think he became a firefighter because he's not super close to his dad anymore. Yeah. He's sort of, like, more rough, and I picture him as a cop, so. You know what? I like that, because all of the other Lightspeed Rescue Rangers were chosen in various forms of rescue extreme, but they didn't have a cop. And in Go-Go 5, one of them was a cop. I love it. I never even thought about it that way. Sounds good to me, but... We stop saying Lightspeed Rescue Rangers because I keep thinking of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers, but like at a really <laughs> fast pace. Now I'm going to say it on purpose. <laughs> yep. And I'm going to edit in a Chipmunk version of the Lightspeed Rescue Ranger song. No. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to do it anyway. Far. You just went too far. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how much I've said it before, but I love you guys. Aww. Aww. Yay! <laughs> Headcanon accepted. 
I think our theme parodies have been pretty good, especially when I'm not singing them. <laughs> <laughs> like I said before, Kerrigan Mayhan has been amazing to interview. Uh, definitely a highlight. And I like doing the After Dark session as a live stream. Yeah, that was fun. So I hope to do some kind of live stream in the future, this year, maybe. So we'll have to find some kind of special occasion to do that. Wow, that would have been great for an anniversary episode. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Charlie isn't funny at Orange Ranger 198 says, My favorite Ranger Command Power Hour moment is the headcanon stuff. Hey! Pretty <laughs> funny moments there. Hashtag RCPH anniversary. So uh, apparently Scott wasn't the only one who liked the headcanon stuff. Maybe this will get AP to like RPM. No. God nothing, damn. nothing can make me like RPM. Uh, I'll, I'll make you watch it again. It's cool. You'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like a you'll like it or else type thing? Or... <laughs> no, no, no. I think maybe now that you've graduated college, it's a new perspective. Now you have all this life experience behind you, and you'll appreciate like, RPM. Hmm, hmm, Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, okay. Head cannon not accepted. Exceptionally good or bad or willful people could ride the lightning longer. I just like that phrase. <laughs> ride the lightning should be a Power Rangers band, or they should use that as a morph phrase. It's like, hey guys, let's ride the lightning! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Yeah, sounds good to me. I don't know what to say. That's all kind of, that, it's, that it's kind all of works good. for me, yeah. Now, let me put this out there. Have you guys heard of any bad Head cannons or ones you're like, oh, I don't. Uh, know. Okay, here's one thing I don't get, and I don't know if it it is considered a head cannon or just something that's super common. Uh-huh. But people tend to pair up Kelsey and Ryan in Lightspeed Rescue fan fiction, and I just what? don't. I just don't get it. If anything, like, I would pair her up with Chad. Exactly. <laughs> when, like, when did her When did her and Ryan ever talk on the show? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like exactly. I don't think they said more than two words to each other the entire show. Like I don't get it. Like if you look on like fanfiction.net, 95% of the Kelsey fanfiction is her and Ryan like married or dating or something. What what I don't what? Like go look. If you don't believe me, go look. No, I, <laughs> well, I I don't know if I want to get on fanfiction.net, but <laughs> <laughs> but that is why would so many people think that, given I, what we've seen in the show? I don't know if it's so many people or just the same person writing over and over again. But either way, it's something that someone thinks, and I don't I don't get it. I, yeah, I don't. No way. Kelsey Astronaut. That's how it went. Yeah, that's how it is. That is the first Power Rangers lesbian couple. Mm-hmm. But Power Rangers was aggressive. Progressive, even back then. They were aggressively progressive. <laughs> yeah. With that one episode. Yeah. That boggles my mind how even one person could think that. They never talked. Exactly. <laughs> Head cannon not accepted. Now we have Nightmare 10. She said, I realize I haven't answered this yet. Your interviews with Kerrigan Mahan, classy, funny, and an awesome guy. And we couldn't agree more. Yeah, can't argue with that. On that note, I got to do a shout out here to... Okay. Uh, just a shout out to uh, Laura Jean Rock. She's a big Magna fan. So Laura Jean, I'm just... I'm so conflicted. I'm in quiet hell all the time, you see. Something like that. All right. That's fantastic. <laughs> that is- That's excellent. <laughs> I'm a tortured soul, Laura Jean, and it's never going to change. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Michael Antignano at Solaris Night says, I think the talking toku storyline, in quote, was very good. 
as well as any of the moments from the headcanon app. Whoa! What? <laughs> Another headcanon episode. Yes! Oh. Well, hey, what do you Suck know? Suck at ratings. <laughs> <laughs> if you go straight through, you might get a PhD in seven years on an accelerated program, but we all know Tommy's not capable of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was a race car driver. He owned a juice bar at some point in right. Fairly Red. And he wasn't dusting off his shoulder like, hey, guys, I just came back from a dig. Like, no, that wasn't happening. <laughs> yeah, he... There's no way. Yeah. yeah I agree with your degree, <laughs> AP. That is just, he took a quiz online and paid $30 and got his degree, and that was apparently enough for Reef Side High. People evolve, like, people grow up, but we all know even if Tommy did grow up, he's not capable of a PhD. It's fake. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the way you just said APHD made me think of high death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the way you said that. APHD. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> AP in 1080p. <laughs> no. No, you just t- you just ruined it. Oh, God. <laughs> I ruined a lot of things, apparently. <laughs> Head cannon accepted. But who's to say that the talking Toku storyline is over? Dun 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 dun. 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 <laughs> Banana. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I just drive Eric nuts with that thing. It's hilarious. Yeah, PMC. I heard that freaking banana fifty bajillion times. As a kid oh. with a new toy, what do you want? My God. Uh, oh. Anyway, banana. <laughs> <laughs> okay then Jeffrey Husk at Jeffrey Husk 91 says that's a toss up I really like the post PMC chats but I really dig that Lightspeed Rescue bit you guys did for Thanksgiving hashtag indecisive yeah well who knows maybe we, we might do another one of those too <laughs> another lost episode <laughs> I, I think it'd be funny if we got transported into the future somehow uh yeah and, and uh, oh Yes. Uh, yeah. Had, a, had, an, had an emergency. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I did like doing the post Power Morphicon stuff, but that killed my September. Yeah, we were on Morphicon for ever. For I mean, it was that whole month. It was yeah. that detox month. To edit four weeks in a row, I... Ugh. Yeah. It was a lot of work, but those were really good chats. I like the different guests we had on there. Matt Jason, Susan Matisse, Steven Zeruda from Annoying Orange. We had a bunch of people on there. Oh, speaking of Annoying Orange, little plug, they just released the second Sour Rangers episode with fellow Power Force member, Black Nerd, Andre Meadows. He plays Lord Bread. That's which- <laughs> a parody of Lord I'm Zed. Gonna have to check it out. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so check that out on the Annoying Orange YouTube channel. It's really funny, actually. I'm so sad now because I had my hopes up that there would be a Lauren figure, and now my dreams are broken. I'm sorry. <laughs> the contract cable to make one. Well, Welcome to the Ranger Command Power Hour, <laughs> Destroyer of Dreams. <laughs> I try not to do that every other week, but... <laughs> Uh, next in our news, this is very exciting, but the Dino Charge cast is now fully in New Zealand. They are doing their ranger training. Filming should begin in October, but their social media accounts, they're even documenting behind the scenes stuff, like even way more than Super Mega Force or Mega Force. All of them are on Instagram. And- They have all their Facebook pages. And it's amazing because now we get to share their excitement for making the show. They just seem like an amazing cast, just made up of a fun group of people. I'm really excited for this new season. How about you guys? I'm getting there. I usually don't get too hyped up over new cast photos just because I don't know what they're going to be like until I see them in the show. Yeah. They're starting to win me over with all these acrobatic stunts that uh, Brendan and Yoshi are pulling off in all these photos. As far as I can tell, Brendan and Yoshi are just going to continue to post shirtless selfies of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really that's the behind the scenes experience that Yoshi is posting all over his Twitter is the fact that he just doesn't wear shirts ever. 
also <laughs> likes to be a human flagpole. At <laughs> they do the human flag trick with flagpoles and <laughs> like to stand on each other's shoulders and things, possibly at the same time. I don't know. So Sean at Snarky Sean said, I can't think of any specific moment except if you could compile all of Secret Ranger fans' size of indifference, that would be cool. Well, it's groans of indifference. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a challenge for me editing. <laughs> but <laughs> so, I, could just reenact, I could just reenact all of them right now. Oh, could you? Then... <laughs> <laughs> that would help me out a lot. If you were to, if you were to reenact them, it would take up like ten extra minutes of this podcast. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna do it too. I'm gonna set it to some music, and it's just gonna be like, oh, uh. that's disturbing. That's so this, really that's disturbing. That do really, not do yeah. that. Okay, do yeah. Not oh. do that. I can see how that would be bad. Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay, doke. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Take care. <laughs> so George Hansen Jr. um at Silurian Ranger says Ram sticks together, ram them forever. <laughs> He had this whole thing oh, when he listened no. to our last episode when we talked about the Ram Sticks. <laughs> and it, that was like a minute into our show. And he's, yeah. he had to stop it because he was laughing so much. It was before you actually joined AP when we were recording. I listened to that, and oh, I, I have to say that I was I was also dying <laughs> when I heard that. So Look for Power Rangers Ram Force later in 2015. <laughs> Oh my god! If they ever adapt GoBuster, we have the name. We call them Ram Force. Oh my gosh! We should do a GoBusters dub and call it Ram Force. <laughs> yep. We're All right. That. Expect All that right. this year. Well, let's do that. I just need to put some more Ram sticks into my laptop, just to upgrade it. That's but... what you said. <laughs> <laughs> what? <it's... laughs> I don't know. Somehow I need to, I I need to ram nerd. sticks. Yeah, I just made the nerdiest <laughs> sex joke ever. Go! Power Rangers Ram Force Go! Power Rangers Ram Force Go! Power Rangers Ram Force Go! My T Ram sticks soar, powers computer more, don't drop them on the floor. Go! Power Rangers Ram Force Go! Power Rangers Ram Force Go! Power Rangers Ram Force Go! Plug in to Ram Force! Your Ram will make it rock. Viruses take a walk. Music set to rock. Go! Power Rangers Ram Force Go! Power Rangers Ram Force Go! Power Rangers Ram Force Go! Reinforce go! Power Rangers reinforce go! Power Rangers reinforce go! Shift into high speed. Ram is what you need. Ram Force takes the lead. Go! Power Rangers reinforce 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 Go!
<laughs> um, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually uh, revisited comments that we received during our previous contest, which was uh, the fave RCPH moments. Uh, that was the contest that you ran, AP. Yeah. So we are going to read those. Did now, Refresh my memory. Did we read these comments on an episode? I cannot remember. I don't know. I feel like it couldn't hurt to revisit them. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do that right now. First, at Deno underscore Toku Nation, a good friend of the podcast, Jordan, he said, obviously our team up in that damn forest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it was, that was a pretty good moment. I could not figure out how to get out of that common Rider suit. I know. It took forever. I know. <laughs> Banana! Night of Spear! Um, okay, so I just push this thing here. And then I put this thing here. And push this. You forgot to say Henshin. I don't want to say Henshin. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, at Slurian Ranger, George again, he said, uh, my fave RCPH moment, a tie between recapping the Swag Force video <laughs> <laughs> and JDF is my TMZ. <laughs> Here we go. Nope. There you go. There's... Property damage. JDF. He's like the coolest 13-year-old I know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is okay. the most apt description I've ever heard in my entire life. He's the coolest 13-year-old in the world. He's that one that's always taking videos of himself doing stupid <laughs> crap and putting on YouTube. He's like, hey, guys, uh, follow my feed. Hi, I'm Jason David Frank, and welcome to Jack. For yes, I was just going to say that. <laughs> Speaking of jackass moves, JDF encourages reckless driving by posting a video of him racing down the highway against another car while filming it on his phone. All right, so here we are. I have this guy who wants to race me. Let's race, sucker. Let's race. Woo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, I beat that little car, that little tiny car. The little, little, tiny, little, little car. I like how we're basically now the TMZ of JF. Well, don't forget the time where uh, <laughs> him and his wife... RCPH, yeah. Him and his wife got pulled over for speeding, and they didn't have any licenses or insurance or proof of registration on the car. Oh, and yeah. That was that was all over today. YouTube. Yep. I mean, isn't this basically like the entertainment tonight of the Ranger fandom? This is. This is what, it, this is what we've become now. You need to get the entertainment tonight music. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna work on that <laughs> tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about the Power Rangers swag force? I made it through about two video. minutes. The video what off. the hell was that? <laughs> like, who was smoking <laughs> when they decided to release that? <laughs> I want to know what part of Saban actually thought that was appropriate for kids. See, I don't think this was Saban. I think this was... Well, no, it was a Nickelodeon promo. But, again, they have to get approval from Saban, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. Watched maybe two minutes of it, and I was like, this is the stupidest thing I've seen. Swag and I've force. seen a lot of stupid <laughs> things with this fandom, so yeah, I'm out. But something like that wouldn't even be that hard to put together. All you need is permission to use the footage, and anybody could take that and put that footage together and make that. I actually Why? thought it was a really bad, they created, like, fan thing. <laughs> That all the all the P- Power Ranger message forums and news sites were were promoting like crazy. I was like, wow, that that's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that it even was it wasn't even using the current season was weird. So the less we talk about it, the better. Okay, so uh, at Nightmare Ten says Eric singing his version of "Come and Get Your Love" at the opening of an episode. <laughs> this is a secret. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was that was bad. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, she also said during the MMPR reboot movie roundtable episode, 
when JDF was suggested to be in the film. You know, all these people are like, oh, you know, JDF needs to be in it. We need the Green Ranger right away. Blah, blah. No, we don't. No, I don't, no, I don't think, no. I don't you, think that's going to happen. Who shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have someone drop out soon. Oh, Did you oh, have you learned anything from the crossover? <laughs> At John Yee said, my favorite RCPH moment is when you talked about fan head cannons. I can't look at Day of the Dumpster the same way anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, another head cannon! <laughs> Why didn't you guys listen during the first week of that? <laughs> <laughs> Zach, what is your head cannon? See, I only have one head cannon, really, that I can think of off the top of my head cannon. And that's that 10,000 years previous to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Rita and Zordon were lovers. And oh, here's, oh my. Oh my. Oh, oh my. And the whole war for the power coins, that was just a lover's quarrel that really turned out wrong. Wow. <laughs> I really like that. I mean, think about the way when Zordon first summons the teenagers, he talks about Rita. He's like, she is the most evil witch in the <laughs> It sounds like he's talking about an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> She will stop at nothing to control your world. And it's, it's totally a guy talking about his ex girlfriend. I am re watching Day of the Dumpster tonight <laughs> and using that context. I will do that. I can just imagine, like, you know, everything was fine, and then. <laughs> You know, one morning he forgot to make his side of the bed, or, or she up. didn't make breakfast just the right way, and he, she locked him in a time vortex, and he, he sent her to a space dumpster. Wow. Mm-hmm. It, everything makes so much more sense. Yep. Wait, what if she was seeing Zed on the side? What if she was cheating on Zora? That's true. Huh. That's true. That could be, because I guess and, when he debuted... And Thrax is Lord Zed and Rita's well, baby drama. Well, yeah, that, I mean, that's, that, that Zordon that's already was, canon. That was oh. like, what? Dude. He's like, I'm out. You're in a space dumpster. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's ex- you just opened the whole shebang on this. because well, didn't We've they, done it. Didn't they say in Once a Ranger that Thrax was also locked away? In a space dumpster. That's it. Oh, right. my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're through the looking glass here, people. So, 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 <laughs> oh my god, Zordon is the villain. <laughs> Zordon is the villain. Zordon is the villain. That's that's it. That's my new Zordon. We type it incorrectly. Zordon is the villain. My god. Oh my god. We we figured it out, people. And that's and that's why in Countdown to Destruction he says, You must destroy my two because only my good energy will destroy all the evil. No, it's his evil energy that destroys all the good. He was fleecing Andros from the start. Wow, this is <laughs> I'll never look at Power Rangers the same we way. We took again. it so far, yes. We took it yes. way too far. Head cannon accepted. At Leland underscore Davidson says, To me, it's when the podcast created the always lovable character of Trollsay. Yes. Yes. We are, we are sad that Trollsay has gone back to his home planet or whatever for the time being. No, he's stuck on that damn wall. He tweeted the other day. Did he? He's a very sad individual right now. I suppose he doesn't <laughs> have teenagers to troll anymore, so... Yeah, uh, let's see. What was the last thing that Troll Say said? He said, 15 hours ago, he said, Am I dying? No. Just an immortal head on the wall? That's a fate worse than death. <laughs> oh, Troll Say. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> so people give Troll Say some love. Oh, dear. We need to pay some more attention to him. He's more like depresse now. <laughs> the what? He's no. existential crisis, say. <laughs> hey, you are now rangers that have never been seen on this planet before. Uh, okay, who are they? Why do we have their powers? Something, anything, throw us a bone here. I don't think he's go say, I to, think he's troll say. To be fair, we haven't <laughs> seen... A <laughs> troll say... At CDA where said favorite Ranger Command moment is every moment. Is that too cheesy? A little bit. But, hey, you know what? It's, we love the cheese. I am okay with that. 
And I am not putting 30 episodes worth of clips <laughs> after this. You just replay all 30 episodes after this. Why is this a 40-hour podcast? <laughs> At Monkey Ranger said, By Jove, he's right. We must fix this great injustice immediately. <laughs> I have no idea what that's in relation to. I remember you, you said that. Yeah, you said that. Oh, it's, it's my lines. There was petitions that people were starting to redo Super Megaforce. Oh, oh that's what that's it's right. from. That was that was my Haim Saban reading. Like yes, thing. yes. I, for some reason, I made it English instead of. <laughs> <laughs> By Joe, he's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my. Use a little bit of foresight before you post, oh, here's my online petition rant. Because in the end, no one from Saban Brands is going to see it. And if they do, they're laughing in the in their offices. Yeah. <laughs> I think the person who created this petition likes to imagine that Haim Saban is sitting at his desk somewhere and he sees this and like drops his cup of coffee and, by God, we've got to fix it. <laughs> With that voice, he just drops yeah. any accent. It's just like, accent. by Jove! Yeah. By Jove is right. We must fix this great injustice immediately. With I'm... his Haim Saban monocle. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> At John from Israel said, hashtag fave RCPH moment. My favorite moment is the part with the fan theories and them being accepted or not. Yes! That's Head cannon accepted. Head cannon accepted. Ding. People love our head cannon episode, apparently. We may need to revisit it. We may need to revisit the numbers and see how. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> There's your great injustice right there. That is a great. Uh, <laughs> I have a theory or a head cannon about the silver stripe. And I know recently people have been really complaining about the silver stripe or supporting it or whatever. Recently in Super Mega Force, the visual effects artists covered up the silver stripe. They recolored it green to either appease JDF or whatever. So I always had a theory about the Silver Stripe. When it first debuted in Fighting Spirit, Tommy was fighting these dream versions of himself. So it wasn't like this was actual physically out there. But he was fighting his demons, basically. And when he was able to prove himself, they gave him back his power, his black dino gem. I always thought that maybe at some point the green ranger powers were restored, but they were restored in such a way that it was completely broken away from Rita's evil magic or from any evil influence at all. My thing is, maybe the silver stripe represented the evolution of the power. This was a new form of Green Ranger power that was good. Yeah. So I was actually excited to see it when they were filming The Legend War, even though, according to JDF, it was a mistake. And for whatever reason, it happened in Disney. They made a conscious decision to film it that way. And promotional pictures, it's even on the Saban DVD sets from Shout Factory. It's in the promotional material. They took promotional pictures with that. And for me, it's like, you can't not tell me that someone didn't go, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Why is that a thing? And correct it then and there. Whatever your theory, I think mine is that it represents an evolution of the powers away from evil. I agree with that completely. Thank you. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I, I just think that makes the most logical sense. I know we're, it's never going to be explained in the show. It's going to be one though. there's a simple explanation for that, and it'll never happen. <laughs> Hashtag troll say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like the silver stripe. I thought it added a nice... It adds some dimension to the helmet. Right, I, I mean, just having all one flat color is dull. I think a lot of people were ragging on the Tokyuja suits because they are mostly the color. People were like, that looks too retro. Yeah, the Silver Stripe, I thought, added a nice distinctive look to the helmet. And people out there who say, oh, the Silver Stripe is dumb or we don't like the Silver Stripe, yeah, you're entitled to your opinion, but personally, I prefer it with the Silver Stripe. Just thinking about the story of the Green Ranger, they were evil temporary powers. And for them to come back, even if it, at first it was in Tommy's dream, it was still representing like a good version of that character because he was giving back his power to his self. 
Who knows? Oh, but, and the promotional pictures for the new uh, Green Ranger Legacy figure has yeah. a silver stripe on it. <laughs> there you go. I am so excited for that. I hope it actually makes it to shelves. I might buy it. At Deadpool underscore Ranger said, uh, my favorite RCPH moment is any episode. I know that's really vague, but I love the show. I can't pick any single moment. And this has Aww. just become an 80-hour podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I listen to every episode twice. <laughs> no! If you want me to take a year to edit this thing, fine. <laughs> just slap them on there and like... Yeah. God. No editing necessary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, at in my redneck ninety six said second fave RCPH moment was when AP went off on someone for not liking Lightspeed. I still laugh. That could have been anyone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That could have been any episode. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a few moments of that on our show. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, this has just become like a 160 hour podcast. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop it! At Orange Ranger 198 says, The size of indifference. Hilarious! They're, they're not uh, size, people. They're uh, groans. <laughs> see? That's a groan. <laughs> it's that's a groan size. of indifference. Like, but like her groans are like. <laughs> it's, it's, te- it's like a half groan, half sigh. It's like a, it's like a gry. God. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Somebody edit the Urban Dictionary page for uh, we, <laughs> We're actually, uh, someone suggested this for our store, which I actually set up a Redbubble account oh, cool. in Spreadshirt. Yes. So, one of these shirts, I, I am going to announce it, there will be a hashtag groans of indifference. And the front of the shirt is just going to have the logo, but it's going to be like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, uh, with the light speed uh, yellow helmet, like in a, a thought bubble. <laughs> or or no, like, a, like a talkie bubble. And it's That's just going to be hilarious. like, meh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if people are going to buy that, but anyways. They, they should. People they should. will buy it, I'm sure. Yeah, the back's going to have a uh, hashtag grown of indifference. <laughs> oh, so we've got RJ again. He said, possibly biased, but my fave RCPH moment is when I had a blast on the movie roundtable discussion episode. And that was fun to record. Yeah, that was a good time. Hopefully we might have a part two of this if they ever decide to, you know, actually announce some news for it. Um, Our last one that we have here is... From at Marvy underscore Chan said, I liked when Mr. Yellow was on RCPH. Yeah, uh, Mr. Yellow has been on a few times and pretty funny guy. <laughs> I mean, those are some good episodes. Jay would have been like like a like a crazy drunk Robo Knight. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's, that's what Power Rangers needed. Yeah, it was a super mega premiere. No, stop. No, no. <laughs> That's no. no. I'm no. going to start banning that phrase. <laughs> All right. But yeah, Dino Charge. Before we ramp this up, I do want to announce the winners of our RCPH anniversary contest. Uh, we mentioned one earlier, but uh, now we're going to give everyone their due. Uh, first, for the Super Mega Anniversary uh, Grand Prize, that was at ped underscore IV. Congratulations to him. Next, our Dino Charged Up pack was at Orange Ranger 198 so we heard a few of his comments, and a uh, big congrats to him. That was actually our most retweeted prize pack. <laughs> Everyone wanted those freaking chargers. People are excited for Dino Charge. Winner of the Mystic Samurai prize pack was Jeff Husk, and he's at Jeffrey Husk 91 He was one of the few people that also shared it on Facebook, so he got an extra entry for all of the contests, and it was actually his Facebook entry that got him the win on this. Hmm. So, yeah, we did uh, a random number generator. I had this whole spreadsheet listing everyone, so everyone was assigned a random number, and it was random, so no one got the same number in each contest. So it was as random as you could possibly get. 
Yeah, so I just did like a random.org, and the first pick for all of these was the winner, except for the Super Mega Anniversary pack, because it kept him ones that I marked red, which are ones that didn't follow the rules, they either unfollowed us, or you know there was some questionable content on their profile. Mm. So, so that one kept hitting red ones. I'm like, no, <laughs> this is a grand prize. Uh, so it, it worked out. Next, the winner of our jungle emergency pack is a friend of the podcast at Pocky Bandit. I actually got to meet him for the first time in person at Power Morphicon. That was, I believe, during the Dino Charge panel, like right before that started. And he was like, oh, hey, you're Eric. I said, oh, yeah, who are you? <laughs> and so, yeah, um, it, it was great meeting him. Uh, really cool guy in Ranger Nation. And finally, for the Super Party Ranger package is at Weatherman34. Congrats to him as well. All of the winners have been notified. By the time this releases, all of the prize packs will have been sent out. Again, I, I just want to thank everyone for participating and probably our well, no, it is. It's our biggest contest that we've ever done. A lot of the yeah. stuff was from my own personal collection. A lot of the DVDs, actually, because now that I have the Mega sets and the Legacy collection, you know, I don't need these individual DVDs. <laughs> Some of it was, you know, out of my own pocket, uh, especially the Ranger Keys and also Saban Brands. So I got some Power Force stuff and. Uh, a lot of it was stuff that I would never use, but, you know, hopefully um, all this could go to a good home. And thankfully, uh, from Power Morphicon as well, because uh, they screwed up uh, when they didn't have enough shirts for everyone. So when they finally sent shirts, they dumped in a whole bunch of extra stuff. So I got all these cool Ranger Key postcards. They had the coupon but I used them for my own Ranger key, so I just cut off the bottom because it's cool <laughs> artwork. It's got it's got the gold Zeo Ranger holding up keys with question marks. I gave those away, and they also tossed in a bunch of extra Dino Charge metal pins and Super Mega Force metal pins. And I already had those because those were from well, I got some at PMC, but I also bought them originally from Pension Vault, Buzz's Room, or JC, prop guy in the fandom. I really hope everyone liked that, and uh, hopefully we can continue more of these contests in the future. Again, we just want to give these for you guys. We want to give back to our listeners, especially the people who have stuck around with us for a whole year now. It's something that we wanted to do to celebrate for all of our listeners. Is there any final parting thoughts that you guys want to share? I know we did kind of thanks and all that last episode, but really anything else that you guys want to say or maybe even your own favorite moments? One of my favorite moments was not on our show, but okay. on Talking Talk Toku, the last episode of Talking Toku. <laughs> Where I played a really b***ing game of hide and seek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom Chu cannot find you, which rhymes. Tom Chu cannot find you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I hope everyone has enjoyed this look back, kind of a look to the past for first year as a podcast, which is really exciting. And like I said, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad we started this crazy journey. Definitely look forward to more coming up. So Many more years to come. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to be like 40 and still be doing this, and that's going to be weird. <laughs> Welcome to the Ranger Command Power. I'm not going to sound like that when I'm 40. Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> At least I hope I don't. Oh my god, that'd be terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> One last thing, I do want to say that we plan to talk about the news coming out of Toy Fair for our February 21st episode. That's a throwback to our first year when we also did some Toy Fair talk. 
Unfortunately, I won't be going this year because I'm putting everything on uh, Lexcon. But our friends at Toku Nation will be covering everything that's going on at Toy Fair. And we'll probably have someone on to discuss it that was there at the show. So there we go. And thanks again for listening. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I usually do a thing, don't I? Yeah, you do the the, the end. (laughs) The song. (laughs) I didn't put that in the note. (laughs) <laughs> so many documents. I'm pretty sure I could recite it from memory almost at this point. Yeah. I could too. All right, here. Ranger Nation, let us know what you think. Have questions? Email us at rangercommandpowerhour at gmail.com or check us out at rangercommand.com. And again, our new Ask FM at ask.fm slash rangercommandph. Thank you guys for listening, and here's to uh, another year. Yeah, I'd, I'd I'd clap into the mic, but that would be a little much. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a slow clap. Yeah, we did it. Or Yay. a fast clap. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's pathetic. <laughs> oh, I just thought of something. Instead of what? my gr- instead of my groans of indifference, we can just have like a sound bite of uh, Tina from. Bob's Burgers. Whenever she makes her groan of indifferent, her like groan of frustration. I just... never, I've never watched Bob's Burgers. You need to. I've seen a few episodes. It's pretty funny. I like. You need to. It's okay. hilarious. Hilarious. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. But All granted, right. one call was from California. One call was from my sister. I, there's no crossover there. So. One of them was a. A crossover. No. This is not... <laughs> We're done. Cue the music. One of them was a phone call um, inviting you to a guest role on Power Rangers. Yeah. The other one. The other one is like, hey, I got your residual check. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) I could be the son of Bulk. (laughs) No, I wasn't laughing at that. Why are you laughing? I'm sorry. (laughs) That was like a real, that was really bad timing again. I am so sorry. (laughs) The only legitimate role I could play in Power Rangers other than, like, maybe Cyan, but it's, I, I'm still a little bit fatter than Robert Baldwin, or Robert Baldwin. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know anymore. <laughs> oh Which Baldwin brother is he again? The one that was in Biodome? The, the oh, one from Japan. Baldwin? Yeah, the one from Japan. All right, I'm going now. But the Bye! Bye! Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Ranger Command Power Hour, only on the Four-Eyed Radio Network. You can catch a new episode every other Saturday. Find us on the Morphing Grid at www.rangercommand.com. Follow us on Twitter at rangercommandph. And like us on facebook.com slash rangercommandpowerhour. This has been another great presentation of the Four-Eyed Radio Network. You can catch more shows at foureyedradio.com.